Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Like and Dark Trap and welcome back to a new episode in our channel. So today I should have made another video um, continuing with our let's play with the druid mod force of nature. But then I saw that there was a an update which is a major update which adds a new vanilla faction that we could play. So which is called the Rak. Uh, Raksash Shaja or something like that. Um, we'll see soon. So I wanted to create a new series about this one and it's I'm going to maybe either pause the um, Druid mod or I will uh, put those episodes on the on Fridays instead of the first uh, instead of Monday and Wednesday uh, for Monday and Wednesday, I will be playing with the Vanilla Faction. So, I set up this one to play in the huge map, uh, Empire Society. Uh, I started a game before with the Rakshaja, and I saw that it seems that they will require a lot of cities uh, because they require their special resource is uh, sacrifices. So, we will probably need a lot of these uh, cities and uh, settlements to acquire those uh, sacrifices. And we will be playing, let's see, against count difficulty enemies. Uh, let's put a few of them and let's see, here it is, the Raksha Raja. So Raksha Raja, I think it's, um, they tend a lot towards the demon side even though I, I i don't really know because i uh, i haven't even played a single session with this one yet i just uh, started a session just to see what kinds of spells or rituals they could have and i saw and then i decided to uh, record this video uh, let us read their lore um, in the jungles of the southern Elysium lives strange breeds of monkey men gifted with cunning and wisdom far beyond that of ordinary beasts. These monkeys have formed a society where size and strength determine your caste and position in the kingdom. Traditionally, the top position has belonged to the monkey Maharaja. But not all monkeys serve the monkey Maharaja. Demons from the realms beyond Elysium have infiltrated and subjugated the monkey people and turned them into servants, slaves, and fodder. The king of these demons, the Raksharaja, has now turned his eyes outwards, intent on conquering the world. Apart from the monkey people, the Raksharaja commands half-bred demons and Rakshasas summoned through bloody sacrifices. Rakshasas are demons able to manipulate Maya the flawed perception of this world and are known to hide their true selves as well as reality itself. The, monk, the armies of the Raksharaja are rarely what they seem and even his lands might surprise the unwary. Um, I think this is a sort of a prelude because the Raksharaja not only has a lot of demonic units the, or it seems that they have um, a lot of demonic units but they also have some sort of illusion uh, things going for them it seems from what i've seen before um okay the raksharaja will not share power and there can only be one master only if the raksharaja becomes a raksharishi will he allow his generals to advance in power and become raksharajas uh this reminds me a lot of the bakemono i think even though I think the Bakemono, you can have more than one immortal great leader there. But I think the Bakemono is also able to summon some kinds of units that the Raksharaja can actually summon. Like, if I read it correctly, there are... Hmm... There are some demons that I think they are... They have been come in... Uh, uh, similar between them uh, so here are our abilities La since we are 
we still are part of the monkey race, monkey men race. Uh, we still have the ma small marcatas that can be recruited in greater numbers. Our bandar are large apes that are much stronger than humans. We can still recruit the bandar warriors. And Raksha Raja enables recruitment of heavily armed half demon warriors. That is, uh, I think, the difference between the Raksha Raja and the um, um, and the Maharaja. Uh, this guy, the Rah Raksha Raja, can actually summon half demon warriors as well. Uh, Atavi villages spawns Markatas and Atavi tribesmen. That's very similar to the to the other faction. Um, Raksha Raja, Raksasha generals, Rap. Raktapatas and Kalamukas collect sacrifices. So these are our summoners and spellcasters. Uh, very similar to the Rishi, I think. Um, well, to the to the yeah to the Rishi and the other spellcasters of the Maharaja faction. Sacrifices can be used to summon demonic rakshasas, reanimate the dead, or create illusions. So, the Raksha Raja is actually a sort of a hybrid between a de demonic summoner and illusionist, I guess. And Raksha Rajas and some mages can hide troops and make them appear as regular monkey soldiers. That's pretty cool, I think. Uh, even though I didn't really see this one uh, from my trial before. So, let's choose this Raksha Raja. And let's start. Uh, with this, with this update, they actually updated other things as well. Um, in the Maharaja things, they they updated, I think, some spells and some workings there. But this was one of the main things that they changed. So, like the Maharaja, we also started here in the southern side of the map. As you can see, we are all we are in the savanna. Um, and just from the get go, we already have three tigers here, which could be a little bit dangerous if we leave our Maharaja palace unguarded so oh wait actually there's no need because um yeah this was something i wanted to say before uh, remember this one uh, i still have the um, what do you call that the um, one mod that gives you this leader the ballista commander and these two ballista towers so yeah we will probably not die um i decided to leave it um, to always leave it on because uh, as a mod because uh, I don't want the AI to just die because they were not careful enough to leave some units behind and also it's a really big help for me to have guards on uh, on my main citadel as well so that I can master my entire army and start conquering around the around the territories so let's divide our armies first let's see let's take all of these guys for now <coughs> and let's see this guy <coughs> so we started with two leaders one is our raksha raja uh, you can see here he has some abilities oh he actually has fighting vulnerability okay that's fine sleep immunity uh, he has some shield really you have shield for some reason and constant mirror image i remember this one was pretty cool a pretty cool ability of the first man so that's cool um he can he's a ritual caster we will see later what he, kinds of rituals he has so he is enabled to recruit kalamuka warriors and kalamuka okay and then this there's this one mirror cloaking so this ability will cloak a number of units making them look like perfectly ordinary apes no matter whether they are puny marcatas or a mighty bander to begin with uh, units that are in the same map tile as the leader with this ability will be affected up to the limit of the num of the ability the leader himself will always be affected the number of the ability indicates the total maximum number of units that can be cloaked. The effect is not restricted to monkeys, but units that are larger than one square cannot be cloaked by this ability. So that would have been really powerful if this ability affected even units like, I don't know, elephants. Uh, recalling the elephant uh, 
units that we had in the Maharaja or even like divine units right so if divine units were to be presented as just normal monkeys that would be pretty awesome I think but that is not the case here and I think that's totally fine let's see here so the Raksharaja is the ruler of a kingdom of apes and brutes that is even more depraved than the realm of monk of the monkey Maharaja as a herald of Maya, the false world, the Raksharaja rules by trickery, manipulation, and vile lies. In his cursed land, truth and virtue are abandoned for wickedness and sin. The Raksharaja is a master of illusions, and in his lands, nothing is what it seems. Even outstandingly virtuous generals have been lured into battles with armies apparently composed of simple apes, only to discover entire contingents of monstrous soldiers hiding in the ranks of the monkeys. Okay, for our spells we have Mirror Image which is okay, Displaced Self is also pretty fine, Veil of Maya gives confusion, that's really powerful, um, Burst 9, that's really good, and Agony. So that's, all, that's a pretty aggressive spell that I really like to have. Burst 25. We must be careful with that one because it could kill our own units. But actually, if we create demonic soldiers, half demonic soldiers, then they shouldn't be affected by this spell because it doesn't affect lifeless beings. And if we go... Then our secondary leader would be this guy here. He is an, a normal Atavi chief. Uh, if we go into our recruitment tab, you can see here we can have normal warriors on this side, but we can actually we cannot recruit heavy bander warriors or heavy bander archers. Well, that's a bummer because I really like those kinds of units. Uh, these guys cost a little bit more, so Kalamuka warriors are new. Let's see, they have more magic resistance, I think. I can't recall. Uh, let's see, they have some hp which is fine so thanks to the sublime ingenuity ingenuity of the white ones the armies of the monkey maharaja have acquired the means to craft armors of almost human quality this however is not the case in the brave kingdom ruled by the raksasha rakshasa kings instead if you ventured into these cursed lands you might encounter black skin bandars of great stature but with less sophisticated armors. Know then that these brutes are not what they seem, for they are demons. The Kalamuka are demonic half-breeds born from the unholy coupling of a female bandar and a rakshasa. The Kalamukas are depraved monstrosities in bandar form and seem to be the only monkeys the rakshasa kings really trust. So they are practically the royal guards or the imperial guards sort of thing. And then down here, we have special units that uh, only require iron, but yeah, we need to procure iron if we want to craft or summon these kinds of units. Uh, we have Possessed Soulless Banara soul Soldiers. So these are lifeless units, if I remember it correctly, right? Life... Yeah, here. They are lifeless units. So these guys um, are pretty good to go in tandem with my spell Agony. So let's see here. Uh, Buta possessed monkey corpses can obviously be equipped with armors or monkey manufacture. Since the possessed corpses are supposed to have will and mind, giving them armor should be less time consuming than equipping regular walking corpses with armor. But the monkey manufacturers are probably not efficient enough to take advantage of this fact these guys are uh, have a lot of capabilities like the other undead units that you could have when, if you are a necromancer but these guys are clumsy i don't really like that also they are slow then we have these guys here say pretty much the same thing but these guys are a bit faster though their hp lives yeah, they are not good. Their HP is not good there. Hmm. I don't know if they are worth it. That amount. Then we have these guys. Possessed Armored Soulless Bandar. Oh, because they are soulless. That's why they have this ability slow. 
yeah and then we have these normal long deads okay and yeah all of them are banishable because they are uh, demonic half demonic demonic units and they will just die okay let's see how do we start here i first i will be centering this guy also you can see they change some colors around a little bit so that's cool let's go here take our first coastal hamlet and then let's actually try to go here now let's take this other coastal hamlet now there are two things here i would like to take them if i could but i think these coastal areas here will not freeze because we are in the really far southern side of the map um let's look at the rituals that we could do with this guy so yeah ritual of grand mastery ritual of master and all of these things is pretty cool and then here buta possession this is new i i didn't see this one before uh, i had other types other rituals on my uh when i decided to look at this one before so this ritual summons a group of wicker butas monkey ghosts and gives them the opportunity to, to possess a number of corpses prepared beforehand to suit to be suitable vessels for the restless spirits the buta possessed corpses can move on their own accord and will fight for their creator endowed with some memories of their former lives these restless undead are not entirely mindless and can be routed from combat the ritual will create different variants of buta possessed long dead and soulless depending on what corpses are available when it is it is cast if the possessed corpses are of the monkey people they can be moved to a citadel to get monkey quality armor upgrades so actually these things here we cannot recruit them directly we need to have like this guy is really similar to the necromancer like you raise the dead from their eternal slumber and then if you in your citadels you will need to equip them which could be okay but yeah we shall see if that is really worth it maybe it is maybe i would like to maybe create a possessed long dead bandar warrior royal regiment or something like that that would be nice um and then we have the other spell let's see veil village this is something new as well the rakshasa creates a magic veil that creates a village impossible to find the village will look like a normal plane for everyone that hasn't got spirit sight however the village can be found if someone should stumble into it by chance oh oh only possible in villages and smaller settlements oh we can wait does that mean we can upgrade things oh i want to try that one i want to try that one on maybe on this coastal hamlet that would be okay i think let's see yeah we can cast it on this one that's that's cool yeah we will try doing that later i will not move this guy here anymore because this guy uh, the, the tigers could decide to kill him so i'll be careful with that one let's see Requires some sacrifices though. Banara captain and a tabby chief. That's okay. Uh, can we move this guy here? Okay, nothing. That's fine. Oh, you're there. Okay, that's fine. Let's go here instead. Uh, we cannot recruit anybody yet. But we are going to produce a lot of gold, I think. I mean, some gold at the start we will be producing. Luckily, we are, we are in the, on the southern savannah side. Sa sa savannah side of the map so that means it should be okay and cool okay are we able to eliminate these guys let's see ah uh, there aren't a lot of us and this is a spider tribe village they have some capable warriors here also this giant snake and this witch doctor are making me a little bit worried Hmm. It sucks that we don't have any Vanara um, um, settlements on this uh, on these jungle tiles. That would have been very nice. Another captain. You're giving me a lot of captains right now, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I really need them, 
those guys will probably disappear. I think this map has a, a really small um, southern side, southern biomes, which is really unfortunate because I think we, our faction could thrive in the um, southern environment. Uh, let's continue. Ooh, what's this? Can we? Nope. They're too powerful. Uh, let's continue trying to go through here. Let's scout a little bit around. Oh, really? It's already winter. Oh, but look at that. Uh, oh, yep. We are really in the southern side of the map. Some of these plains aren't covered in snow at all that's uh, okay i guess go here still nothing i think we will need to look further north to see if there's something interesting here let's see can we recruit some units or something hmm Oh, we are not producing anything here. Dude, I think we will need to... Oh, I don't want to spend my resources yet on those things. Uh, don't fight those guys yet. Okay. Let's just try passing some turns. Hopefully we aren't uh, being left behind or too far behind by the enemies. I really want to do one of the um, rituals though. Oh, let's go here first. Oh, city. Oh, that's great. Or not because, well, not really. Uh, we will see. Also a lot of trolls here. It would be nice if I was able to confuse a few of them with my veil of Maya. That would be, whoa, wait, what? Oh, cloaked. Okay, this unit looks like a normal Vanara soldier or Vanara archer when observed by outsiders, which is, Pretty nice. Uh, let's see how much. Oh yeah, twenty-five for that one. Ah, well, I mean it's okay. Okay, there was a battle in the farm. Oh wow, we lost one Marcata. Well, I mean yeah, they. <gasps> oh, you left this one. Oh, uh, should I go take it? Because I think if I go here, they will. He will probably go go back. It would have been nicer if this guy was to decide to go here. Or if he were to conquer the city, that would have that would have been so good because oh no, dude, we are near these guys. Yeah, I think this wasn't a really good good spawn at all. Okay, so they decided to go there. They go, they're going to conquer that place. Hopefully, they will attack the or they will be attacked by by the trolls that would be very nice oh no 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 you will not move like that oh there are the trolls oh dude i think i just messed up hopefully they will attack each other if not then this is game over i guess atavi chief uh, let's try scouting here for a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, we will be able to kill these guys. Maybe not these other guys. Dude, there are a lot of serpent villages and these kinds of villages on uh, near our 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 main citadel, but there aren't, there aren't a lot of Vanara soldiers. I Vanara settlements. No Vanara. Sorry. Um, what are those other guys? called i can't remember the atavi sorry the atavi tribe settlements now i'm really curious where these guys came from okay there's a settlements there okay three let's go here use this thing and go for a veil village Veil Village. Oh, that's ju that just gives it that. Okay, well, that sucks. I thought it would have given me more. Um, maybe some more resources, but nope, that's the only thing that it can do 
apparently it can only hide settlements hopefully nobody tries to take that one over from me because that would be a huge mistake oh oh no dude really you already have a frost drake it lost an eye but it has ah uh, dude we need to reinforce this army right now so we need to conquer this guard tower as soon as possible wait i think there was also a leader on that uh, on that tile i need to see now oh wow they decided to enforce it yep there was a leader there was a cobbled shaman already oh dude this is going to be okay i think we should be able to handle these guys they're just going to funnel out their um this place and then we can uh, reinforce this place and try to conquer the port Ooh, okay let me see what should we do um what can i do with you nothing much hmm dude i don't even have enough i i'm not producing any iron which is really a bummer Yes, we require a lot of iron for our territories. Uh, dude, okay. Um, let's continue skipping turns for now. Oh, yes, thank you. So we can recruit two times the um two times there now. We can recruit more. What? What? Whoa! I lost a lot of units there. Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, they reinforced this place really well okay so we are in trouble here now but we can recruit some archers no ah i can only recruit atavi archers really well i mean that's there's not really a lot of differences between them let's see uh, five four four three one five four three three Whoa, zero okay yeah not a uh, lot of difference there uh, we just need them oh actually i think if i was to buy marcata archers that would be awesome yeah let's go buy marcata archers here and <gasps> wow i messed up again dude what who's guarding this place oh man i i i I will need to recruit some units now, I think. Uh, form a secondary army. Ah, uh, but I don't have any. Hey, this one's dagger. Hmm. I think this is an independent island. This is a river that could be crossed. That would be nice if, I, if we were able to cross it. Unfortunately, this river doesn't... Uh, freeze at all so that's something to consider let's see what can we do hmm tavi archers well we cannot really recruit anybody else maybe these guys but uh let's skip turn for now oh no oh did we lose i think i saw red at the end there i think we won did we oh my goodness we won oh but we lost the leader let me see that battle that epic battle where they wait Atavi chief he's still here oh this one okay yeah oh my god okay so that's last Atavi archer was the savior oh that's so good and lucky really mostly lucky Thanks to these uh, wooden wo wooden gates. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we we took control over this area, which is really good. Um, but mainly we took control over this port. So this port is going to be who our breadwinner now. So let us start buying iron. And even though we're not producing a lot of gold, oh, if only I had enough gold for all of these pioneers. But you know what? Let's keep this one. Um, let's keep this one purely Raksharaja. 
So we can recruit some more Makata archers. I think I'm gonna buy for numbers for now. Hmm, I'll need a leader here soon. Uh, okay, let's end the turn. I need to reinforce that port as soon as possible. As many soldiers as possible. As soon as possible. I'm gonna recruit this scout and then I'm gonna recruit here some more. Should I go for this, guys? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's give you some. Because you, you uh, these guys were pretty cool on uh, defending this place. Uh, they were able to slay a snow drake. No, uh, an ice drake, I think it was called. But still, they were really good. Um, I think we should try doing some rituals of mastery and see if we can do something. Yeah, for example, this one seems to be nice. So, Naraka Summoning. This, rituals, this ritual allows the caster to contact and summon Rakshasas, Rakshasas of Naraka, a hellish realm beyond Elysium. Black-skinned Rakshasas, Rakshasa warriors, or Glutonus Pragasas, will answer the call and emerge to feast upon the flesh of men. The Rakshasas of Naraka are the eternal enemies of the sun. As such, they are susceptible, susceptible to fire and fear. It and fear it greatly. Sorry, can only be cast. Wait, sorry, can only be cast in land locations. So yeah, that's fine. We will try to do that, but I think I will need to recruit more units here because I wouldn't want to um, lose my own units. Oh, you're a banana scout. Okay. Um, I thought uh, we were spawning units automatically there for a second, but no such luck. Crossbowman. Yeah, dude, you're giving me a lot of these really good offers but i don't have the resources to take them for now um okay and turn yeah we're just going to skip some turns here for now oh it's already spring oh it would be nice if we were able to do something here um the lack of iron is really killing me oh there you are oh they lost they've definitely lost their best i think I think we also lost a few units. Oh, wow! Legendary defenders. The Mar the Marcata archers are legendary defenders. Definitely, uh, we are really powerful against these smaller types of units. Even if they do produce a lot of these free blue kobolds, free kobold units. As, as long as we have these Marcata archers, we are all good to go, I think. Unless they do bring like a stack of a hundred units, maybe that could bring my settlements down. But this port is pretty much well defended. I will still try to reinforce it maybe with another group of Marcata archers. Ah, oh, what's this? So, oh, that would have been nice. I think this is like a level one leader. No, this is my mana. Maya manu manipulation, so maybe that's something else. Let's uh, end the turn, continue ending it. Losing that other leader from the start was pretty awful, though. Let's recruit this one here uh, to have an extra because I will be recruiting units here and then expanding from this area. This will be our main staging area. I think the. Um, you got the Cobalt's faction already possess. Oh, yep, that like that stack right there. That stack of units could definitely end me. I think. Um, I will need now to go here and see how many units they have. Only forty. You know what? That's not too bad. But still, these things are worrying me, worrying me. So I'm going to recruit another stack of Marcat archers here. I would like to recruit another stack here as soon as possible. That would be very nice. Uh, here we will be trying... Uh, should I go for... Is this good enough? <sighs> oh, we are uh, out of resources right now. Woo! And they lost. I knew it. By recruiting those... That guard tower is going to be the shield for, for my main base. Uh, for my port and we only lost nine units. That's good. 
even though most of these units are probably free, free units so that's not, actually not that good to lose nine units to free units well that's fine that is okay okay let me do this summoning uh let's see oh yeah only a couple of units well that's not good enough but you know what they seems to be powerful uh, how powerful is this guy 34 actually you're really good um you know what come here wait 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 i saw something else there for a second yeah these guys are really powerful so these are pragasas pragas huh According to the lore of the White Ones, there are realms beyond the Elysium, inhabited by demonic beings known as Rakshasas. One such legendary realm is Naraka, a hellish realm of darkness and sin. Among the most disgusting, disgusting beings of Naraka are the Pragasas, the Glutons. Armed with iron maces and an insatiable appetite for flesh, they joined the war against the sun in an attempt to crush his bones and eat the marrow of his race. By the rays of the sun were im but the rays of the sun were impervious to their iron maces and the war ended in disaster. They were eternally banished to Naraka for their sins. And then now we are summoning them to us, which is fine. Uh, we need to be really careful here now because um, some armies are still here, I think. So we need to be extra careful here. See if Banara Captain. Oh, that would have been nice. Um, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here for right now. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I think we are at an okay point, not great, but an okay point. Uh, for right now uh, in the next episode we will try to expand our domain a little bit more maybe try to conquer some of these uh, well maybe not these two but hopefully this city this would be a really good centerpiece for our uh, for our territories if we were to conquer this city right now um, guys if you enjoyed this video please click that like button down below and also consider subscribing to the channel um, and guys, if you have any tips or tricks for me to follow, please do comment in the comment section down below. Uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm Like and Dark Trap, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.